I am here in Frisco, home to the Rangers AA affiliate, the Rough Riders. And today we had the opportunity to catch up with the Rangers 2020 first round draft pick and Mississippi State product, Justin Foscu. Foscu sends it high in the air, deep to left field. Forget about this one. That ball is gone. Justin, you were the Rangers' first round draft pick in 2020. What did it mean for you to be drafted by the Texas Rangers? They kind of told me that they're going to bring in great guys, great character guys, and they're going to build a championship winning organization with those kind of guys. So when they told me that and to be drafted by them, it was pretty special. What have been your overall impressions of the Rangers organization? Yeah, I love it. I love it. They've been great to me. Everyone in the organization is great people. And when you come to the park every single day, surrounded by those types of people, it makes it fun. This is your second season playing professional ball. What's been the biggest difference in year two? Coming into this season, I'm just a little bit more prepared. I know what to expect. I'm ready for the ups and downs of the season. I think just being prepared is basically the biggest thing for me. You're a product of Mississippi State, Rangers first base of Nate Lowe, also a product of Mississippi State. What kind of advice has he given you? He just says stay the course. I talked to him a little bit in spring training this year. He said stay the course, um, just have fun, and don't put too much pressure on yourself, and just handle in the lows a little bit better. It's a game of failure, and if you learn that really quickly, then the more you fail, the better you'll handle it, and then you can bounce back quicker from it. So that's the biggest thing for sure. Speaking of you know baseball being a game of failure, how do you manage the pressure? It's tough. You definitely got to learn from it. You know, Throughout my professional career, you can take every single game or every single at bat too seriously and it's like it's not that big of a deal at the end of the day I and mean, once I learned that it kind of just I can you can breathe a little bit better and don't take it too seriously and lastly when you look ahead to the future and you envision getting that phone call getting called up to the bigs what comes to mind uh, just a lot of gratitude I mean it's just a lot of hard work that I would have put in to get to that moment and it's been a lifelong dream when I do get that call it's just gonna be a lot of gratitude towards the people that helped me uh, and my parents that helped me get to that point.